Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Woo! I hope you guys are ready to put on your lab coats and help me mix and match some genes, because today we are diving in with a lynx! Look at this absolutely beautiful lynx! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe what people on the gallery can now create, because this is just a stunning example of a European lynx who happened to be one of my favorite of the cats to study, especially when we start talking about all of the rabbits that they eat. We actually had several episodes of our Zoo Tycoon 2 adventures where we dove into a really beautiful European lynx exhibit, and we managed to create something very special with fields of lavender. Oh my gosh, that was one of my favorite zoos we ever made in Zoo Ty Tycoon 2, and it would be such a delight to someday see these lynxes either roaming around in our Sims world or possibly being added into Planet Zoo. That would make me so happy! Lynxes are just very different from a lot of your big cat species like the lions and tigers that we are so used to working with because they are much smaller. They are much, much, much smaller, and they have very, very interesting behavior ranges, especially if we're talking about the lynxes in Canada. Canada, for instance, and it's really, really fascinating to see how many snowshoe hares they eat. The lynx and the snowshoe hare happen to have a very special relationship, but um, not the kind you're thinking about, because today, the special relationship that we're going to be having between this beautiful European lynx is not with a snowshoe hare, though that definitely should be on my list of things to crossbreed for next time, noted. <laughs> Instead, it is going to be with a squirrel! A squirrel! You guys know how much I love squirrels! And this is one of the best squirrels I have ever seen in my life on The Sims 4 Gallery. I could not believe when this popped up. I am blown away. A++ to Shazrila Beth, who has created a really fantastic squirrel that you too can actually come in and adopt and make your very own. And if you wanna go the extra mile, you can even go ahead and grab some of Kalino's amazing custom content like I did, and you can give your squirrel some little perky ears. So we actually have some special Special ear custom content installed right now to help out our squirrel to have those cute little upward ears. We also have some special custom content to have some itty little fingers, just like the teensy little fingers, those lovely little digits that the squirrels use to open up and manipulate their different seeds and other food that they eat. And of course, a big fluffy tail, because I just adore squirrels. So I'm very excited that today, my friends, as we step into the lab and as we bring out all of our petri dishes to start mixing together all of the genetic material, we're going to be seeing what happens when we crossbreed a European lynx and a gray squirrel. And perhaps in the future we'll even be able to save aside a little bit of Firestar, the European lynx's genes, and see what happens if we mixed Firestar's genes, or any other lynx really, maybe a Canadian one next time, with the snowshoe hares, which as I mentioned before are usually their main form of prey. However, today we're just going to uh, go ahead, we're, we're going to do a little bit of an evaluation. I don't think there's going to be much of a love story between these two because to be completely honest, Angel the Squirrel is not very interested in being eaten by anything. And look, you can try to convince her that this is the love of her life, but she's got eyes, really big eyes. She can see those fangs. Even if Firestar was the most laid back lynx around, she is just gonna sit in a tree and chatter nonstop at him and absolutely not risk her her life or her catch of seeds possibly being eaten so we're just going to catch angel we're going to take a little bit of her fur maybe measure her floofy tail and we're going to mix their genes together in our petri dishes and see what results uh, and i'm also actually hoping that we can go from a short little nubby lynx tail like this which actually helps them to be able to climb trees and it helps them to have a sense of balance uh, to a big fluffy lynx tail. So that's what my fingers are crossed for. Basically, I'm hoping we will get Angel's fluffy tail uh, and maybe even Angel's really cute ears, but the lynx coloration from Firestar. 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Also, we have one, two, three pieces of custom content to roll the dice of destiny and see if Angel's children end up inheriting. So let's do this, guys! As usual, be sure to leave your comments down below to have a chance of being picked by our random comments generator to become whatever the heck this is going to result in. What do you call a squirrel and- oh! not ready for that I was not ready for that okay okay I love you but you are not you are not oh don't look at me like that oh you precious thing I love you so but you are you are not the little lynx kit that we are looking for oh deep breaths okay so what do you call a lynx and a squirrel baby we're gonna have to give that a little bit of thought but it would look like this Ta-da! All right, oh my gosh, there's no tail. And this is actually going to be Arnold. So welcome to little baby Arnold. And because the squirrel is actually designed, if you look closely, friends, the squirrel's actually designed to have really tiny eyes to make it look more like a squirrel. Then if we end up with the squirrel coloring and the squirrel coat, we're gonna come on in and do black eye. That's not black eyes. We'll do dark, there we go, dark brown eyes like that, so it kind of blends in just a little bit better. You know, funny things happen when you're in the lab. What can I say? All right, and this is going to be little baby Arnold. Welcome to the family. I hope you are going to be nice and snug and warm in your dray. And when Arnold, oh my gosh, look at that tail. When Arnold ends up growing up, we will actually roll the dice of destiny to see if Arnold is going to end up inheriting the ears and the paws. If we end up with a nubby tail, I'm just going to leave it nubby tail and say that that's the lynx tail. All right. And Arnold, you are spoiled, so I'm sure we're feeding you tons and tons of delicious nuts. You are also friendly and lazy, which sounds like the perfect kind of personality to go ahead and have if you are going to sleep the day away in your dray. And the dray, if you are wondering what the heck that word was, a dray is actually what you call a squirrel nest, where many different species of squirrel will spend their time nesting, raising their babies, staying out of the cold or the bad weather. That's why you see especially gray squirrels run up and down a tree with a bunch of leaves in their mouth. They're building drays! Alright, next little kit. <gasps> You're so cute! Look at the tiny little legs! Oh, we got a nubby nubby tail again! Oh my gosh! I am never prepared when we actually step into mixing the cat genetics again. Or the cat-based genetics. They, they, every single one I just, I just love to death. Oh my gosh. Kiara, welcome, welcome. You are going to be a mischievous free spirit who is very frisky. So it sounds like you actually have a lot of that lynx parent gene in you. I can't wait to see what you grow up to be. All right, next one coming up out of the Petri dish. Let me pull up the next, oh my gosh, these babies. Deep breaths. Come on, Siri, stay strong. I got this. <gasps> Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? You guys, welcome to... Oh, 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 oh. Shh, shh, stay small, stay small, my little one. Welcome to Vanessa. Vanessa, welcome to the family. You are going to be playful, a prowler, and friendly. I love the prowler trait. Look at that, isn't that precious? They enjoy prowling the neighborhood. Send them out and they may come back with something that they found. Oh my gosh. All right, we're getting so, look at that tail. Okay, we're getting some really fun mixed breed babies. Let me go ahead and pull up the next name as we prepare the next item out of the, uh, dun dun dun, out of the Petri dish today. And this is going to be, <gasps> hello little cutie. Oh my goodness, so many of them are turning out like little kits. This gives me hope that we might have the long fluffy squirrel tail for Melissa. Melissa, welcome, welcome to the family. I think if they have the long tail, we'll just automatically transform it into a squirrel tail when they grow up, my friends. That makes sense, because we have nub tail from the lynx and fluffy tail from the squirrel. 
And Melissa, with your little adorable, very unique looking face, you are a Cludden who is territorial. Makes a lot of sense. Squirrels are extremely territorial. You do not want to miss, mess around with like their little acorn piles. And you are also aloof. So a Glutton who's territorial and aloof. You've got a lot of links and a little bit of squirrel in you, my dear. All right, let me pull up the next name so that one of you can end up becoming Dun dun dun! Not yet. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. This little one! Oh my gosh, I'm so in love! We need to do more lynxes, friends! Why have we not done more lynxes? I demand more lynxes! Oh, Alright, this is going to be Doris! We've got a lot of really fun old- or Doris. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Doris. Nah, Dory! No, Doris! <laughs> there we go. We've got a lot of fun, really old style names this time. And Doris, you are a frisky, playful, clever kit. Look at you! Heck! Okay! And you have a little nubby tail. I'm really seeing mostly links in this one, but we're gonna have to wait and see if they end up with the useful little fingers of the squirrel or their perky little ears. All the better to help them hear their prey with, after all. And then finally, the very last name being popped up by the name generator. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to see... Are you guys ready for this? Oh, you're so cute too with these tiny little paws and you're going to have a big fluffy tail. And welcome to Alana. Alana, welcome to the family. I have no idea. I mean, all, everybody here is going to be able to climb trees because lynxes and trees go together almost as well as lynxes and squirrels. So, oh my gosh, look at that little nose. So all of these little kits will be able to climb up the cat tower absolutely no problem if they happen to love nibbling on nuts or if they like to chase down snowshoe hares, it's totally up to them. And Alana, you are going to be affectionate, talkative, and friendly. So let's go ahead and see what everybody grows up into. Um, let's actually go backwards this time and we'll end on Arnold because I'm quite curious to see how like beefy boy squirrel is going to turn out. Uh, to be. So we're going to save Arnold for last. But all right, Alana, you're going to have fluffy tail when you grow up. Oh, you're so freaking precious. Look at that face. Look at those tiny little paws. <gasps> you guys, I almost missed out on the best part of these tiny little paws. Look at the toe beans. Look at the tiny, tiny, tiny little kitten toe beans and the tiny little kitten tummy. I need a cat so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I miss having cats. One day, Siri, one day. For now, Alana, give me hope. Give me the kitty fix that I need and turn yourself into an adult. Oh my good gravy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're a snow leopard, Alana! <laughs> Who knew? All you needed to be able to make a snow leopard was a lynx and a squirrel. And suddenly you have a snow leopard. I am not changing that tale. That is amazing. Friends, Friends, behold Alana. She might look like she has difficulty seeing, but let's see if perhaps her very big ears. Ah, she didn't inherit the ears. She did, however, inherit the fingers, which is going to make for a very interesting snow leopard lemur look. But you know what? You just got to do what you got to do sometimes. So there we go. All right. Alana, you're amazing. I, I have a feeling she can get into all sorts of trouble with this, but this, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. All right, Alana, thank you. I, I, I just, I don't know if we can top her. This is amazing. Doris, you're up next. Oh, Doris, Doris! Look at that face, you guys. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cat. She literally has an anti tail. She has negative tail. <laughs> Doris! Okay, Doris, you also did not inherit the big ears, but you did inherit the fingers. What can I say? These Lynx crossbreed kits are going to be able to crack open basically anything that they possibly need to. Or maybe they'll be able to start crafting drays of their own up in the trees. That's going to make things quite interesting. All right, Melissa, you're next, my dear. <coughs> Melissa, glorious. We're going to give you a floofy tail. Oh my gosh, she's glorious. This is everything I really wanted. 
And Melissa, you are actually not going to have the ears or the fingers. You're just gonna have this gigantic fluffy tail. This kind of reminds me of like a red panda where you know red pandas sleep on their tails or snow leopards sleep on their tails. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Melissa, you're gonna be able to take a nap on your own tail and that's amazing. All right, Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa, look at this facial structure, you guys. What a beautiful, beautiful cat. Oh my gosh, and Vanessa, you actually ended up, okay, you need to have your, your tail be different. Uh, let me go ahead and roll, and we'll see if you inherited, all right, you inherited dad's tail, which means a little nubby tail. There we go. But Vanessa actually ended up inheriting the toes again, which always look a little interesting, but again, you can tell that this has been one of our crossbreed experiments this way. I love her. I love these tiny little legs. What? Oh my gosh, Kiara. Come join the family. Oh my goodness. Look at, uh, we have Auntie Tail again. <gasps> I did not foresee this. I did not see us having like the opposite of a tail with so many of these little creatures. But apparently that is, that is like you either get all of the tail or you get absolutely no tail. It's amazing. Kiara, welcome, welcome to the family. What do you guys think? Who would you claim as your winner so far? But we can't decide just yet because Arnold needs to grow up. Arnold? <coughs> Arnold, you are Beefy McBeeferson the squirrel. He is the squirrel who's going to be like picking up entire trees and breaking them over the head of anyone who tries to mess with him. He did not inherit the toes. He did inherit the ears. I love him. This was so much fun. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us as we dashed across these many, many amazing creations. Keep your suggestions for possible crossbreeds coming down in the comment section, as well as your name suggestions, so that you guys can become one of our crossbreeds in the future. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.